Now, Chris, you've got one final offer for us. It's actually a, one of the top selling cruisers of all time, this one. Right. Isn't it? We featured this a few weeks ago and uh, it flew. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we've, we love it so much for putting it back on. It's, uh, yeah, it's one of those kind of, well, it's one of those offers that really is incredible. And I want to talk about celebrity cruisers because you're going to be away for a month on this one and you're going to be seeing you know, the heights of New Zealand and Australia and Singapore. So when you're away for a month, you need to be on one of the best ships in the world. And this is with celebrity, isn't it? Right. I mean, it's five star. It's they call it modern luxury. Well, you, well, really... you worked with celebrity. Yeah, yeah. This is many my, years. This is yeah. my baby. Four yeah. years I was on uh, celebrity cruises, actually on the Solstice class. So this ship is uh, one of mine that I, I worked on myself. Uh, you know, five star. It's uh, modern luxury. That really describes it well. Uh, the food is so special on board. There are so many places to eat. Some uh, with the cover charge, don't worry about that. The, the food quality is even more superior than the, the main dining room that you get there. But if you just want to go for a freebie, that, that main dining room is serving up yeah. uh, high quality cuisine. You know? I, and I think what I, I was going to say what I love about celebrity, it's everything. <laughs> you know, the design of the ships, the service, the food. Mm. You know, they, they've won numerous awards, haven't they? They're very I think if, you, if you're a fan of stylish cruising and, and, you, and you want a really kind of nice environment, which is modern, and it's the word modern luxury than it is, because cruising yeah. has this oldie worldy feel. Uh, it's not gimmicky, like some, you know, some lines, it's, it's stylish. Yeah, and, it that's, is. and that's a real difference. You know, so if you like style with things, you like a stylish holiday, then Celebrity Cruise is definitely for you. And even the staterooms, they're so well designed, aren't right. they? You know, you really notice in the bathrooms, there's so much place to put all, you know, so many places to put all your things. Anyway. With all your like, makeup as well, you need that, Sean. I you know what I mean? certainly <laughs> do. Foundation, <laughs> blusher, all these different things. My hair products. But um, <laughs> it is a trip of a lifetime. And I say, it was a top seller a few weeks ago. Starts with a flight to Singapore, doesn't it? It does, yeah. So that will be an overnight. You then arrive fresh into the morning into the city of Singapore, one of the most cosmopolitan, cosmopolitan cities in the world. Uh, night and day, there's something going on. You know, every kind of culture is there. Uh, it's so modern. It's the cleanest city you'll ever visit in the world. In fact, throwing chewing gum on the floor is illegal and you get fined for it. Just saying. Uh, you know, you're going to experience things there that you'll never see anywhere else. And, and we actually get a free night tour as well in Singapore, don't we? Right, so Planet Cruise have added in uh, Singapore by night, which is uh, firstly a, a city bus tour. You get to see the, the city, uh, city lights uh, on the bus, and then you also head on to the Singapore River and uh, check out the city from the river down there. Wow. And again, it's a, you know, I've not been to Singapore yet. It's certainly on my wish list. So, great start to your month away. But then you're going to embark the Celebrity Solstice for this amazing 27 night cruise. Wow. Uh, um, and this is a trip of a lifetime, isn't it? I mean, if you're looking at doing a Pacific holiday, this is going to cover everything. You've got uh, near enough all of Australia, and the real gem in this is New Zealand. Yeah. So you're starting off in Benua Benali, Benali, Bali in Indonesia. You've got a, a nice long day there um, where you'll be uh, seeing the sights, lots of cultural things to do in Bali. First of all, we've got uh, two sea days, haven't we, on, on board the ship? We certainly have. And uh, those are wonderful days, aren't they? Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, we've, we've explored it already with the last ship, but with, uh, with Celebrity, they've got different things to do, like they've got glass blowing on the ship, uh, they've got a lawn, a fresh glass lawn there, plenty of things to do. And, uh, so we've, we've been to Bali, which is stunning. We then head on to uh, Darwin. You've got two cities before Darwin to get you down to Australia. There you can, uh, I mean, Darwin was a vital role in World War II, so there's lots of military history there. Uh, you can see the old airstrip from uh, World War II, the old uh, airbase, lots of things to do there, uh, if you like that, uh, that kind of thing, the old military history. And the big thing, if you show this next to me there, that's the big thing here. This is the Jesus bird, so named because it walks on water. So if you go through to the Kakadu National Park, which is one of the oldest parks in the world, you will see the Jesus bird strutting his funky stuff over the water. Incredible. Brilliant, yeah, really nice. Where next then, Chris? We then head on to Cairns. So now you're heading around the uh, top tip of uh, Australia, heading into the Barrier Reef. So if you wanted to uh, uh, tick off something on your bucket list, this is the place to do it, Yorkies Knob. Uh, you can head to uh, the Franklin Island Cruise. This one will head over to the Outer Barrier Reef. Uh, I mean, you're going to see it just now. It's absolutely stunning. Exactly what you see in the movies, exactly what you see in pictures, that's exactly what it's like. Uh, I've done this myself. Do you know, I got told off on Queen Mary 2 for, for, for announcing tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be in Yorkie's Knob. 
and I got a complaint, you know, for, for, for saying the name. <laughs> Can you believe that? But that's where we were going. It wasn't my fault. You know, I didn't name the place. <laughs> And then we move on to Airlie Beach, which is again another Great Barrier Reef area. But you can go to the Wit Sundays here, which is another bucket list for somebody. I mean, look at the scenery. Absolutely oh, gorgeous, I mean, isn't it? I can only imagine. And you've got the famous Heart Reef as well. Look at this. That is naturally made. Incredible. I mean, I, it is, isn't it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely something I've not done and need to do very shortly. Cool. <laughs> uh, we then head on to another day at sea where you go on to Brisbane. Uh, one of the major cities on the coastline there, and you can head into the Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary. And if not, you can go do a city tour of Brisbane along the Brisbane River that heads right into the heart of the city. Check out the scenery there, very nice indeed. And then move on to Sydney uh, after another sea day. Uh, Sydney, obviously uh, the, the heart of Australia that you're, uh, you, know, you see in every kind of uh, picture. The, where you're docked, in fact that's right where you're docked there, that's the uh, Sydney Harbour Bridge and the Sydney Opera House and right in between those is where you'll be docking so you couldn't get more central into the city if you tried. Uh, from there you then have two sea days where you head across to uh, Milford Sound and the sounds of the South Island of New Zealand. Now we, we did the uh, Fjord cruise just earlier, uh, this is even more dramatic I'd say. Some of them you're sailing into, some of them you're sailing through, some of you're turning in and out again. Uh, these are actually sea days, but I mean the scenery is absolutely spectacular. You've got the naturalists on board telling you what you're going to be seeing throughout the trip. There is one excursion throughout the sounds, uh, but it does fill up even before you've set sail. So if you're looking into really exploring the sounds, speak to them on the phone and they'll be able to look into that for you. I mean, Chris, this is, it is an amazing trip, this one, isn't it? Uh, it covers everything. Yeah, everything it does. To see. Uh, and it was a top seller uh, recently. We brought it back. The reason why we brought it back tonight, we are worried the price is going to go up, by the way, because as the ship fills up... That's exactly right. Yeah. Right, you know, prices rise, don't we, they? Yeah, we've been saying this for a good few months now, and just us are alone, we've, we've been uh, uh, doing very well. So I can imagine yeah. what uh, everybody else is doing. Uh, we're now heading up to Dunedin where you can uh, start heading into uh, Lord of the Rings land. The yes. city is uh, so dramatic. This is where they film some of the external shots there in uh, Dunedin. Dunedin is also a very nice town just to kind of walk around, catch up the, uh, you know, soak up the culture there, mm. where we head up to uh, Akaroa. Uh, I mean, this is kind of rugged terrain around here, but you see all sorts of wildlife. You've got, thing you've got dolphins, you've got penguins. Any, any kind of uh, wildlife uh, lover will love this port, especially because Hexes, you've got... dolphins as well, the famous things to do here. Right, exactly. Hexes, dolphins in the, in the port area, is beautiful. Yeah, so plenty of boat tours to go out and see the animals there in Akaroa. Then we, we have another sea day, we head on to Taranga, and this is where you'd have an overnight <coughs> in the port there. Uh, nice, you know, it's kind of uh, a smallish town if you like, but uh, nice to go out and explore. When, you, when you're even overnight, you get to see the local life as it is without yeah. the tourists. You know, tourists have gone home, go out and swim in the shores there, look at those gorgeous beaches. Uh, you get to really know the place with an overnight there. And then Auckland, the, uh, the most famous city of uh, New Zealand, right there in the top tip of, uh, of the North Island. Another cosmopolitan city, that's the skyline from Mount Eden. Do the uh, cable car trek up there. Uh, you get to see great panoramic views of the city and that's exactly where you'll be docking right there into Auckland. And then, there's still a little bit more, isn't there? Last port, yes. Then we head into Bay of Islands and this is a great one if you're into caves. Again, I mean, rugged territory all across uh, New Zealand here. Go and see the glowworms in their caves. Uh, really, really interesting day, that one. Uh, and head in to see some Maori culture as well. This is, this swim is with dolphins as well. Culture. If you've never done that, it's a yeah, wonderful thing definitely right. to go and do. Um, and then, couple of final days at sea and they are incredible with celebrity they really are and then of course um, over to Sydney we disembarking a flight back to the UK and you will have so much to do on this the, the gorgeous ships with of course celebrity they are well you've worked with them for four years didn't you right yeah I was uh, entertainment staff so I saw that side of it I, I was selling cruises on board so I saw the other side you know they they really do look after you well and I mean the proof is there people go back time and time again to celebrity Wow, well, let's remind you of what's included uh, with this trip of lifetime. It was a top seller uh, in the past few weeks. We are with the prices going to go up. Your price tonight starts at just 2999 All your return flights include you've got two nights in a five-star hotel also in Singapore and the Singapore by night tour. 
overnights, some amazing overnights. And if you want to stay, we should say post cruise in Sydney oh, for yeah. a few nights, you can do that for just two seven nine, can't you? Well, you'd be mad not to two nights, and you also get an excursion with that as well. It's not listed there. You get oh, really? to go to the Blue Mountains for two seven nine. It's crazy. Um, just a quickie, by the way. Um, there are different classes that you could choose with celebrity and uh, things like aqua class or concierge class as well where there's so much extra things like priority check-in personalized concierge service um so just ask our cruise consultants you know guys like chris and ladies that'll be there to talk you through the different options that are available but we are where the price is going to go up on this one that's why we're featuring it for final time tonight the idea number is nine five five six zero